Welcome to another fucking podcast. Introducing your hosts, Joe, Gio, and Davey. There's every chance it could be a complete disaster. Now, it's time to strap yourself in, fuckface, and get ready for another fucking podcast. Wonder what hurt, will it? Welcome to another fucking podcast. This is Dave. Hi, I'm Joe. And I'm George. And I have successfully landed Peter Dixon, but unfortunately there is a stipulation. Which is? Um, he, what the fuck's happened? He may have heard the allegations of paedophilia. Oh, were... fuck. Oh, so he listens to the show? He listens to the show? a bonus! He listens to the show? He's not, he's not <laughs> for the polls. No, well, the thing is, he, he obviously want, he, he wanted a bit of background into what he was doing the voiceover for, because sometimes he's just sent things to do the voice for. Ah. Right, now obviously you told him it was you that was making the jokes because we've got to interview him and we need him to open up. So well, did you tell him it was all you? No, I just says, look, uh, well, uh, he's not stupid. He knows my voice. He can hear ah, that I never fuck. quite clearly mentioned that he was in any way shape oh, or form a shite. So, but then I've managed to at least get him to do the interview, but he's, what he's saying is that he will do the interview if you have questions ready for him and he will be probably quite blunt it'll be like one word answers right. but he will try and sound as enthusiastic as he can with it at this point did you tell him not to be such a diva bunnet well he's a lot of money Dave you know the, the guy is he has money, money. He has you know? money. Yeah. sounds I mean, like a bellend doesn't he, he? Like well, a these people like, usually do you know what Joe, Joe we've gone, we're going to have to fucking approach this as if he's so, not a bellend right so I'm Parky who are you let's, I'm, let's, I'm Jonathan let's, I'm Jonathan let's grill this motherfucker <laughs> let's grill this motherfucker right, I, wait. I will go get him and um <laughs> Uh, I, I just you're going to get him. I, I'll go get him. I thought you were only talking to him. Well, I'm speaking to him, but he, he's he's not happy. He's right? not happy he's with like, you. Is it with us? Just in well. general, he's not happy with me because. Uh, so I he's going to come in here and I can't tell I didn't exactly cover. I didn't exactly like um, defend, defend him. George, I talk, but George, we fucking told you to secure this interview. And I have. We are, aye, but why? But he's going to come in. He's going to be a cunt. Imagine that no, cunt with that voice no, telling says, you you're a bunny. He says, "Look, if you've got the questions ready, he'll be he'll answer them as quickly as possible." Have the questions ready. I mean, are we really? I mean, he was kidding on there. He's no fucking Parky. I'm no Jonathan Watts. We don't know what the fuck we're doing. Have the quit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Should we have? Do we need to have a theme tune? Do we need to have a get down with the trumpets? <laughs> There's always somebody with a fucking bugle in this place. <laughs> <laughs> but does he expect us to have like fucking questions? We don't know what the fuck we're doing. Well, just go and get. Will if we you just get a guest on? You need to have questions. So where are you going to be when all this happens? I'll be talking to his driver. Right. What are we going to talk to him about? The, the fuck have you got to say to Peter Dixon's driver? I'll tell the story about the old lady that I helped last week. <laughs> oh, aye, that fucking chestnut, aye. aye. Hey, hey, I'll I'll get you got to be late to tell that story, aye. Aye, bung him a song, mate. Well, you're at it, eh? Hi, Peter. Shit, what the fuck are we doing? He's got to come in here. Aye. Oh, oh, Peter! Oh, Peter. Yeah. Hi, Peter. Pleasure to meet you, Hi, Peter. Peter. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, Peter, uh, Peter, obviously, George has told you some stuff about the podcast and yes. whatnot. <laughs> and... <laughs> We, we, we just want to start this off on the right foot. We just, we obviously oh, want you to... Stop, I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's... I, I appreciate that, Peter. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you coming down here. You Would you like to clear your name, Peter? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Joseph Sorry. I'm, I'm Parkinson. Mean, trying, I'm Parkinson. I mean, hold on. Clock ticking, gentlemen. Right. Sorry, Peter. Sorry, Peter. Right. Um, so, how was the driving? Slow. Very slow. <laughs> right. So, obviously, right. <laughs> you're famed... For your time on the X Factor. Yes! <laughs> Would you say that you enjoyed working with uh, the notorious Simon Cowell? Yeah. He's a bit of a bastard, actually. <laughs> so, <do> you... Bastard! Obviously, obviously, you know, the whole reason we've got into trouble in the first place is by maybe saying things about you that we shouldn't have been saying. So I want... Probably shouldn't mention it so, anymore, if I'm honest. Yeah, I was going to say, this is your boss. You know, obviously... He's it's not impo- my boss, though. No, I'm my boss. <laughs> Are you your own boss, Peter? Yeah. Well, of course. <laughs> right, wait, but just, X Factor you know, is just one thing, you know, David. It's... I appreciate that you make a lot of money, Peter. I mean, Joe, can can you tell me it's like his boss when you fucking show? Leave Simon alone, right? Simon is a mogul of the highest order, and we're trying to make one name in this business. So he X Factor he would be nothing without me, <laughs> Peter Dixon. So, Peter, <laughs> on the subject of of X Factor, yes. Have you ever shagged a contestant? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Joe. Rachel! I don't <laughs> <laughs> Well, you find, well, you, 
Oh, well, she's quite young. Peter, this, is she this, not? Uh, aye. Are wait, you trying wait, to stoke wait, fires wait, here? Wait, just read you. I didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> you don't ask a lady never tells, eh? Hey, you know Precisely. What I mean? You know what I mean? Precisely. Uh, you, know what Precisely. I'm you know what I'm talking about, mate. Aye. Yeah, fucking... Oh, oh right. Uh, so, uh, sorry. Easy. Sorry, easy. Right. Do you so, ever watch Strictly? Sorry, sorry No, I'm currently uh, too busy doing voiceovers, <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> You do other work other than the X Factor. Of course, you've what heard other, of my other work. What, are, oh, what else do you what do? Would that be, what would that be like? How did you start in the business? Well, uh, was it that work pack? Was, uh, was, it the, was it the work pack? Boy? Oh no, he never said that. Was that was, his name was Douglas, and it wasn't me. You just played the try. Right. So, what, what have you done? I've done lots of things, David. But uh, if you didn't take the time to research the things I've done, then I'm not going to tell you. Well, excuse me, well, fucking Peter, but George just told me two minutes ago you were coming in. Do you want me to go in Google? We uh, we heard rumours that uh, you got your start in doing voiceovers for German pornography. Can you confirm or deny this? Yes, I can confirm that. <laughs> uh, it's not true. <laughs> oh, oh, well. oh, I've been legends, yeah, eh? I've been legends. Imagine German porn, eh? Oh, oh, oi. That's a terrible impression. What do you think of his impression, Peter? Um, there's potential there, but... Uh, Rachel! Was that of me? <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, give me my give right, me so, but, your best impression of me. Obviously, we've got you. Me, the, <laughs> Peter Dixon. <laughs> okay, Peter. Okay, Peter. Calm down. Calm down. All right, Jesus Christ. Do you like football, Peter? No. Okay. What's your favourite soap? EastEnders. Who's your favourite character? At East Bianca Enders? Jackson. <laughs> and what do you think of her joggers? Do you think they're nice and tight? Uh, I like her bubble jacket. <laughs> what about her? Uh, it's chubby. <laughs> What about a Chavi Alonso! <laughs> Why you didn't like football, Peter? That's also <laughs> correct. <laughs> Peter, so, look, this, what, this is going to have the fucking we'll see. We, this is going to have the fucking rails, man. We got you ask the next question. I'm, I don't know what to do. I like the quick fire thing. That was good. Was that good? <laughs> that was like, was like, good. Are you uh, ripping me, sorry, David? Sorry, Peter. We're paying good money for this, man, and you're slating David. So, sorry, sorry. Uh, well, that's I'm, I'm out, but the clock's ticking. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll tell you. Money out of your pocket, not I'm, mine. I'm going to take a step back. I'm going to take a step back. I don't think I'm helping this situation. I'm going to take a step back. I'm so, let you David, this is your podcast. You can't take a step back. That's right. Shut the fuck up. I'll ask the questions. <laughs> right, so. <laughs> so, Peter, Peter, you're in class. Oh, you carry on, Joe. What Commonwealth you, Games! What do you, no, th- those were three weeks ago. <laughs> Sorry, you said Glasgow, so I said Commonwealth Games. It's very relevant, surely. <laughs> what, do, what do you like about Glasgow? What do you like about Glasgow? <laughs> uh, there's lots of things. The people are, are wonderful. Well, aye, well, no. Except have you, from you, pair, you're I a pair of fox. <laughs> a complete <laughs> pair of dicks! Like, no, Peter, have you sampled the show? I mean, you can't just. You can't. You oh, accuse me of being a paedophile, David. Right, I can say right, what I like. Right, he says that one more thing, Joe. I'm going to cut his mic. As simple as that. If that's, you, he either plays the ball or he doesn't he fucking answer these questions. Peter, have you, have you sampled any of the, the local Hootenanny? Hootenanny? Uh, is that Joel's Holland reference? <laughs> <laughs> it's, no? Hootenanny is, is probably a, a, it's a slang term for dirty, stinking vag. And again, David, it's uh, Glasgow speak there. I'm not picking it up. Vagina. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, well, uh, I'm a married man, David, and uh, you're married. I, no, I'm married. <laughs> oh, you're, you're <laughs> so what's your wife's name? Yeah, Elizabeth Holly. <laughs> oh, I thought it would be Dixon. <laughs> no, I thought she, she kept her name, David. She oh, didn't yeah, like the big, name. big movie star, right? She now. likes dicks, but didn't like Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was going to be Alicia for yeah, a minute. That, that makes sense. So obviously, what's next for you, Peter? Obviously, X Factor isn't going to last forever. What's, what can Pe- what's Peter Dixon going to go into next? He's probably going to go into his car next and go home. Yeah, but after <laughs> that, Peter. Obviously, after that, you're going to think of doing something. You're going to do, and don't well, say uh, make up or noodle or something like no, that. No, no, uh, it's uh, coming up to X Factor season. Actually, so there'll be plenty of uh, yes. London. You, you do remember the question that I asked, which is, what are you going to do after the X Factor? <laughs> um, well, to be fair, Simon pays well, so that usually sees me through to the next. Yeah, he pays year. well until he listens to the start of this podcast, Peter. But you know, at this point, there is no one in this country that could possibly come close to my voice. <laughs> what about I'd that like guy, Marcus Bentley? I felt he's quite good. You know, he's quite popular. He is. Uh, Our friend George actually, you know, waxes lyrical about Marcus Bentley. Who's um, that? That's the the guy. From that's big the jolly guy that does oh, Big Brother. Yeah. He's, oh, uh, we, we, is he a bit of a dick? Talked about you know? him the other to week, be fair, to be honest, uh, he's. he's 
He's, he's in this little bubble of Channel 5, which is which is nothing, really. Spice yeah, Girls watched Channel 5? Spice, Spice Girls, Girls they, they did, and uh, where when are they, they now? When they stopped doing Red Shoe Diaries, I stopped wanking, basically. Uh, David Duchovny. <laughs> oh, David Duchovny! <laughs> what, what about his dog's name? Do you remember that? No, I only fast-forwarded it to the good bits. <laughs> it was Jake. Jake the dog! <laughs> Jake the dog! <laughs> this, I mean, who the fuck is going to listen to this interview? Like... I'm trying to think. What's your it. what's your thoughts on Gaza? As in Paul Gascoigne? <laughs> yes. Is that how you say it? Oh well, I would say Paul Gascoigne. <laughs> well, what, what, what do you think about him? What, what's, I mean, that's obviously a relevant question I'm sure for he's today. A very nice gentleman. I've never had the pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pleasure. He likes to bring fish to people he doesn't know. Yeah. To murderers. Uh, Raul Moat. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Raul. Moat! How many times will the people have heard that, I wonder? <laughs> Could you possibly say in that voice for me, Colonel Gaddafi? Oh, of course, David, it would be my pleasure. Yes, but but then it will have to leave because my car is waiting for you me. You have to leave? Wait, hold on a minute. We've paid for a good 15 minutes here. You're just going to bug it off? Well, it's, uh, you know, times are tough, David. I have other places to be. <laughs> Understa- to understandable, Peter, understandable. So, okay. Colonel Gaddafi? Okay, in my voice. Marcus Bentley? Don't get smart now, Jets. <laughs> you Colonel <laughs> Gaddafi! <laughs> it's been a pleasure, Jens. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, Peter. Thank you. Sorry about the whole pedophile thing, mate. That's okay. Just don't mention it again. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Can you send George back in, actually? Can you send him back in for the Peter? Ladies and gentlemen, that was Peter Dixon. That was an exclusive, another fucking podcast interview. Yeah. As you can see, we are complete fucking amateurs. Yeah. And we also can't see anything because we're on a podcast. No, no I, I was basically <laughs> meaning that as I know you can see from the rest of it. You're smart ass bastard. Oh, yeah. Well, it feels while while, while Joseph feels the burn and George is <laughs> busy delivering the burn, then obviously we're going to wrap this up. That was fucking surreal. I don't think we're troubling Parky. I don't think we're troubling Jonathan Ross. I don't even think we're troubling Graham Norton with that, to be honest with you. <laughs> I really, really like Graham Norton. Do you, do you really like Graham Norton? Glam? 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 <laughs> I, I like Graham. You might like Glam. I, I do like Glam. I like Golden Graham. Here's a Glam with a quick lee cap. A lee cap. Um, so basically, no danger of fucking us seeing us on BBC One day in a chat show. But <laughs> it was a pleasure to have Peter Dixon. It was also a pleasure that George fucked off for the interview. Uh, I, said, I, I kept my half of the bargain. You asked me, so is, I mean, I'm a, I'm a forgiven now. It's, it's almost like you're a fucking skyver, though. It's almost like you chose <laughs> the opportunity to fuck off. But, like, you asked me to bring Peter Dixon for an interview. i done that. Just because, At what point did I say to you, you could fuck off and go and talk to his driver? He didn't also say that I had to be here for it. Oh, he's a oh, wee bitch. A wee, did he draw a contract? Oh, he's a wee bitch. Anyway, anyway, that was another fucking podcast. If you like us, subscribe on iTunes. If you want to give us a wee tweet, then you can tweet us at another FKN pod. Thanks for the sound effect there, George. Glad you did something on this fucking podcast. <laughs> We've also got a Facebook page whose fucking address I forget. If you fucking care enough, you'll find it. And the website is www.anotherfknpodcast.com. It's got all the links you you need and require for fucking clitoral pleasure in your life. Adios. Bye.